Welcome back to Network Africa. As you know, every Friday on the program, we do things differently to help in personal development of our viewers, which will undoubtedly, undoubtedly result in a better Nigeria. Today, our focus is on having the eyes of an entrepreneur. As we know, what sets entrepreneurs apart is that while others see a challenge, they see an opportunity. There are loads of dimensions to being an entrepreneur, but for today, we're going to focus on recognizing market gaps as opportunities. And joining us to do justice to this topic is the Managing Director and CEO of Ocean Basket, Mr. Kayode Olumartins. Mr. Olumartins, thank you for joining us on Network Africa. Hi, how are you? Now, let's begin with how easy it is to identify the gap in an economy, for instance. Well, you know, I, I'm going to ask you, are there actually gaps out there? You know, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure whether they're gaps. I, I don't see them as gaps because gaps mean uh, you, it, it connotes filling in something that's missing. Um, we see them as, as entrepreneurs, we see them as opportunities. And um, not every gap that you identify is actually fillable. And it might not actually be fillable for the um, for the environment that you're that you're engaging in business uh, that you're engaged in business in. So we look at um, uh, at these what you call gaps as opportunities, and uh, we look at the ability to recognize these opportunities in a way that would be beneficial for you and for the society in which you're actually conducting business. So sometimes it's not actually easy recognizing those gaps, but when you see those opportunities, you need to be prepared to take advantage of those opportunities in good time as well. Okay, now talking about taking advantage of opportunities, what if you see an opportunity in, in an industry where you're not particularly familiar with? What do you do? Well, you know, over the years, um, I kind of, I've seen different types and kinds of entrepreneurs and, um, and, and people that work in um, corporate organizations who are not necessarily keyed into that particular organization. I've seen doctors run banks. I've seen medical professionals um, you know, become, become literally contractors and builders. And um, what, it, what it all boils down to is the ability to actually research what you found, what, whatever opportunity that you found out there. You need to go ahead and make sure that you research it as much as possible so that when the, when the opportunity comes, you, you, you know, you're prepared to actually take advantage of the gap that you know, we mentioned earlier. It's, um, it's, it's all about research, all about knowledge, all about you know, being able to prepare yourself and equip yourself to be able to take advantage of the situation that you find yourself, or the situation that you've decided to you know, go into yourself. And how easy is it to bounce off ideas with others when you have a business idea? For instance, you, you, might, you might be scared that if I let this person know what my plans are, or what ideas I have, it might actually go ahead you know, and kickstart something with that idea before I even get to do it. Yeah, and that happens a lot. That happens a lot in, um, in, 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 in our setting. Uh, I remember you know, a while back when a lot of people were just starting out in business, um, you know, my generation was starting out in business, we had, the, we had to actually go and approach banks and, actually, um, and um, investment houses to see whether we could put our proposals on tables and see whether people would actually look at those proposals for, uh, you know, favorably and then we take advantage of those uh, and then take advantage of those proposals by investment coming from these um, from these banks and um, over the course of time yeah, um, those those um, those proposals and those investments went into the wrong hands, and then you discover that what you thought about, you know, over the past six months, appears on the streets of Lagos or whatever capital city you might have. Um, but that being said you still need to bounce off ideas. You still need to engage other people. No man's an island. And there's, you, know, you cannot expect to have all the knowledge that you need to actually take advantage of the situation which you want to take advantage of. You need to actually bounce off those ideas of other people. And then I must say, um, even if you do bounce off those ideas of people, friends, relatives, and you know, mentors and, um, and, and other business people, you also do, you know, most importantly, have to seek the correct professional advice. Going into business would entail you actually talking to your lawyers, talking to your accountants, talking to the, um, the, um, the, the, the appropriate government agencies so that you're familiar with the guidelines and the laws that guide whatever venture you're going into. And I, you know, I can't, I can't 
overstress that point because um, a lot of um, entrepreneurs go out there, they get involved in business, they get involved in, a, in, in, a, in an enterprise, and three months, six months, one year down the line, they discover they didn't, you know, they didn't cross all their T's or dot all their I's. And at the end of the day, they find themselves in a situation where they're not able to take full advantage of the industry that they've decided to, um, decided to put themselves in. So seeking that professional advice, seeking advice from professionals, is, it's, 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 it's invaluable. It's invaluable. Now, talking about competition, there's practically, there's almost no business that is new. For instance, you're into the food business and we have loads of food retail outlets there. So how do you cope with competition? Um, Ocean Basket is, um, you say we're into the food business. Well, yes, um, we're into the hospitality business and we're into the distribution of seafood products within, um, well, the distribution of seafood products in itself. Um, competition is great. What does competition do? It keeps you on your toes. I can, you see, Nigerians being who we are, we're very entrepreneurial people. We look at, we look, we see opportunities, and we want to jump onto the boat and, you know, take, you know, take advantage of it. Um, you will discover that if you set up a business, six months down the down the line, you'll find somebody else doing basically the same thing on your model, and guess what? They might even be doing it better. So competition is good. Competition keeps you on your toes. Competition gives you the opportunity to improve upon yourself. It, it gives you the opportunity to actually, you know, succeed in areas where other people fail. Um, the gaps that you're talking about, it's, um, it's, it's being able to take advantage of the imperfections that you see in an industry. If you go out there, and I must take, you know, um, make an example out of um, Channel Television, because I'm sure when they started to over 20 years ago, they saw a gap. They saw imperfections within the industry that they were operating in. And they felt that they could do it so much better. And that is what it's all about, going into an, in, going into an industry and doing it better than you're actually witnessing, than, actually, than you're actually seeing. So we go out there, and an ocean basket, we go out there, and when we look at the hospitality business, we say, what is it all about? It's all about the customer. It's all about the clients. All right. All, thank you yeah. very much, Coyote, for joining us and Network Africa. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Louise. Well, after the break, it will be time for our network, for our tech, Africa Tech segment. Please stay with us. <laughs> 